So since my computer has crashed, I've lost all my good photography. So I took an image I posted on Facebook. That's why it's horrible quality. There's lots of noise. It's not in focus. So we're going to try and just see what we can do with this. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just editing the main photo, bringing the brightness up, the contrast, all that fun stuff. It helps when you're doing a um, black background equine photography that you use a very good flash um, and you have them somewhere where there's a lot of shadow like uh, in the stable hallway I don't know what you call that or under an awning that way the Sun is on them and also there's being a shadow casted this image really isn't that great of one there is a little bit of shadow on the left side of the horse but not as much as I'd like. So I've edited pretty much what I wanted to do and I'm now reducing the noise. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our little lasso tool, see if we can use that. Instead we're gonna use our quick selection tool and this is the tool that will help you so much. You want to go along the edge of the horse and it'll automatically click or however what term you want to use for that. Um, cling. It'll cling on to the edges of the horse, but you gotta be careful because it will cling on to other edges as you'll see when we get down to the front hoof. So it has selected the hoof, it's gotten the lighter part, and it's stopped at the cornet band, I believe that's what you call that. And so you just want to take your subtract tool, subtract all that, and then go back to your ad and just pretty much just go around the edges of the horse. I like to do it in small chunks instead of going around the entire thing and doing it all at once because when you get to the mane and tail, that's where it gets extremely difficult. I'm also taking and selecting some of the background as well. So when we do do what we're doing right here, refining the edge, it'll show more black. So um, I made a mistake here. You got to go to inverse. Otherwise, you're just going to be painting the grass instead of the horse or the horse instead of the grass. So once you go to inverse, it'll come out like this. And this is where the magic happens. Uh, go to view it as a black background. And this is uh just honestly your own um, this is your own personal preference however you want to do it I'm still new to all this so there will be lots of spots in the finished product that you can see aren't very well done So after that, you're going to um, press OK on your settings, then go back and inverse it again, create a new layer, personal preference, I like to create a new layer, and then take a black color or like a super dark color and then just paint the edges. This process takes quite a bit. I um, go back and forth just to make sure I have everything as good as I can get it before I press OK and color it all. So I've colored a lot of it already and I'm getting ready to work on the tail down here. Now this is the tricky part. Don't be afraid to like really get in there. Don't be intimidated because um, like I said it really helps if you have the horse in a dark and bright place lots of flash this was taken in a pasture in the middle of the day so the grass doesn't help as you can tell it's not wanting to collect any of or select any of the hair so I pretty much just get what I can and then inverse that <laughs> refine edge get what I can and just mess with it you'll want to use your uh, feathering that's works best for hair but it's just trial and error with all of this just 
work with what you think or do what you think works best. The shift edge tool, it helps, um, it will bring it more inwards. It's like your uh, modifier, <laughs> I'm forgetting the tool names off the top of my head, uh, expanding and contracting. Once you have a selected area, it's basically what it is and you don't have to go all the way up to your layers and select, you can just do it right here. So you're just just keep doing it until you think it looks good. I'm like, okay, and got to inverse that again. And so I take my black color and I color it in, and it'll look really blocky. And you just keep coloring it. I was gonna save a piece of that hair, but I'm like, ah, oh, never mind. I'll just fix it later. I like to use a soft brush, even though I don't really think it matters in the end. It just makes me think that I'm doing a better job than what I really am then just color that inside uh, yeah alright and then going to take a little bit of the erase tool change the op opacity and I just want to show a little bit more of the hair like I said your personal preference you don't have to do this if you think it'll look better then by all means go ahead so you're just messing with it. Just keep doing what you're doing. I'm also super terrible at this narrating thing. I apologize. And so I've deselected the layer and I'm just adding some more hair strands, taking some away, redoing it. And that's basically what you gotta do with the entire thing. It's very, very tedious, especially if you have to edit out a halter. That takes up the most time. I also come in with um, some more black and color onto the hair if I think it's a little too bright for the out or for the black background, too much light on it. And then I just color the little rest of it. And so I've already colored everything and um, selected everything. Did the hair as best as I could. The sucky thing about this picture is that the ears just disappeared. So, I mean, that's what you kind of get with a horrible quality picture that you weren't really thinking you'd have to do this for. With this, I was just brightening up and showing a little bit of the pasture. Something I haven't really done with uh, my equine photography. I just thought I'd practice and just experiment with it. And this part is pretty much just, again, your personal preference. Giving last bits of finishing touches, more contrast, more brightness maybe. Um, what I'll also do is come in with the brush tool and paint some more shadows in. Just make it a bit more dramatic.
Now I'm going to go and put a cooling filter on it. Give it a more like blue look. And then this is pretty much it. That's the finished picture after I put my watermark on it. You can see the tail is still not very good, but that's how you get a black background equine photo. <laughs>